Forth now proudly presents the fight of the night, the main event, where two undefeated heavyweights, somebody's O, has to go. Welcome to the O2 Holanda! So, Eddie Hearns match on Sport now proudly presents 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant Commonwealth and the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Sponsored by Dapperbet, StubHub and Scott's Menswear. Ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands in attendance and the millions that are joining us around the world, this is Heavy Duty! A very warm welcome to the viewers joining us live on Sky Sports. You have, without a shadow of a doubt, joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, the Commonwealth Council and the World Boxing Council. Commonwealth representative is Robert Smith, WBC representative and supervisor Mauro Betti of Roma, Italy. And our steward in charge from the British Boxing Board of Control is Mr. Mick Collier. Area representatives are Desiree and Bill Edwards. And working the red and blue corners are John Lockwood and Brett Bowles. Timekeeper at the bell from Ricelip, Peter McCann. And the three judges in charge of scoring this contest are Ian John Lewis of Gillingham, John Keane of Wellingborough, and Bob Williams of Watford. And when the bell rings and the action begins, the man in the middle, the man in charge, is Mr. Victor Lachlan of Paisley, Scotland. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment. He comes to the ring as the undefeated IVO Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion from Inverness, Scotland, where he is known as the Highlander, Gary Hornig. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out in the blue corner, wearing the black shorts. Weighing in at 17 stone, 11 pounds, 3 ounces, with a perfect professional record of 13 contests, 13 wins, 13 inside the scheduled distance. Comes to the ring as the two-time ABA champion and the winner of the Olympic gold medal in the heavyweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the reigning and defending WBC International Heavyweight Champion from Watford, England. for the vacant Commonwealth and the WBC International Heavyweight Contest. OK, boys, had instructions in the restroom. Remember, obey my commands at all time, defend yourselves at all time. God bless, touch clubs. Let's do it. Victor Lachlan absolutely dwarfed by these two big beasts. 35 stone of power in that ring. The one thing everybody has agreed upon, three scoring judges will not be needed tonight. It's scheduled for 12. It won't go that long. First round. And how does Gary Cornish 
cope with the biggest night of his career. A joiner by trade, same as Ken Buchanan. He's been given six weeks off by his company to prepare for this. He's had a good camp in Inverness. They brought in the French heavyweight, Newfell Uwata. They brought up Richard Towers from Sheffield. Reports out of the camp were that it went very well indeed. But that was training camp. This is the real thing, live bullets. I think Conn has just felt the power and the punches there of Joshua. He partially blocked it, but he felt the power. But it's good to see Joshua in against an opponent who has ambitions of his own, and whose career is on the way up and not on the way down. Looking for the body of Joshua with a straight right hand. Ah. Joshua looking very sharp. And he nails it with a right hand inside the first minute. Cornish down, looking at his corner on one knee. It's the power, but it's the speed as well. Cornish didn't see it coming. He get caught with a solid jab just before the right hand, and that set him up for it. And the legs have turned to rubber already. Joshua biding his time. And then unloading again at Cornish. Looking unsteady, Joshua looking to measure him up. Could this be gone in the first? He caught it with another right hand, and Cornish is in desperate trouble already. Now the technique that Joshua is showing at the moment is terrific. You wouldn't believe only a dozen fights. And it's all over. It's all over in 90 seconds. Anthony Joshua's biggest test on paper has turned into his quickest win. What can you say about Anthony Joshua? A you blistering have, performance. You have to say that any heavyweight that's caught clean by Joshua is going to be on the canvas. See, he has tremendous natural punching power and his development has been outstanding. So, the only thing, when he moves up to the proper world class, can he face someone who can get their bombs on before he does? But I tell you what, it'd have to be quick, because as you've just mentioned, it's the speed as well as the power. But I just think the way he's developing is really tremendous. Well, it's that speed that did it. 49 seconds in, Gary Cornish did not see this one coming and never was able to recover. See, he took the, the left hand there, which you could see steadied him a little bit. He felt that one. And then, bang, overcame the right hand. Full credit to Cornish getting up from that, because that really was a solid shot that put him on the floor. He showed bags of courage, he got up again after the second knockdown, but there was no point allowing that to continue. But you can see the natural power that Joshua has. He doesn't have to wind the punches up. Everything just seems to flow from him. Perfect balance, perfect delivery, and the perfect finish. So full credit, as I say, to Cornish, he got back up off the floor, tried to get himself back into the fight, but every time Joshua landed, whether it be with the left hand or the right hand, it was knocking him onto his heels. I mean, look at the power and, and the jab there, trying just to, to survive the crisis, but down the way, that was from the accumulation of the punches, that wasn't from one single shot, but when he got back up, his legs were unsteady, and there was no point allowing it to continue. The, the writing was on the wall by that time. It really was. And the potential of Anthony Joshua, truly frightening. The critics will say, yeah, he's not faced anyone yet, and they'll say that again tonight. But for old Gary Cornish, this was a massive night for him, and he put so much work into it, and he was just blown away in 90 seconds. And you just wonder how many heavyweights in the world right now would you put ahead of Anthony Joshua? And I wonder what Dylan White at ringside made of that. We can now look forward to that meeting on December the 12th. Ladies and gentlemen, time keto Peter McCann has recorded a time of 1 minute and 37 seconds of the first round. Referee Victor Lachlan has stopped the contest with Cornish in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner, 
and the new Commonwealth and still the WBC International Heavyweight Champion from Watford, England, AJ Anthony Joshua! Now Royal Betty presents the WBC title belt and Mick Collier from the Boxing Board of Control presents the Commonwealth. Ladies and gentlemen, we present your champion. Wow. So Anthony Joshua dispatches Gary Cornish, his 14th straight victim to claim Commonwealth honours. We'll hear from Joshua next and get the thoughts of our guest pundit and bitter domestic rival Dillian White straight after the break.